Hello dear children. Good day to all of you. I hope you all are doing good. Welcome to the Siro Malabar Catechism classes. I know you all are happy and excited, right? As we're going to start with our next lesson. That is lesson number 9. The home that prays. Yes, children. The name for lesson is the home that prays. So before we start with our class, let us all stand up, join our hands and say a small prayer. Okay? So join your hands, close your eyes and repeat the prayer after me. Bless us, Father, as we join in today. Fill our minds, thoughts and fill us with your joy as we begin our class today. Bless us, Lord. Amen. So children, do you all remember what we learned in the previous class? Come on, think. What did we learn in the last lesson? Yes, we learned about Mother Mary. Yes, we learned about Mother Mary. Who is Mother Mary? Mother Mary is the mother of Jesus. Right? Do you all remember that? Okay. So, Mother Mary is the mother of Jesus. Is Mother Mary our mother too? Yes. Is Mother Mary our mother too? Yes, children. Mother Mary is our mother too. We pray to Mother Mary daily, right? We must pray to Mother Mary every day. Only Mother Mary can lead us to Jesus. Okay, children. So we also learned a prayer to Mother Mary in the last class. Do you all remember that prayer? Do you all recite it daily? Yes, I'm pretty sure you all do so. So the prayer was, Hail Mary, full of grace. Yes? Okay, so you should always recite this prayer, Hail Mary, full of grace, with lot of faith. And ask Mother Mary to pray for us, to help us, to lead us to Jesus. Yes, my dear little children, prayer is a very important tool to keep us close to Jesus. Okay? So in the previous classes, we have learned on what is prayer. Do you all remember what is prayer? Come on, think. We have learned about this. Yes, prayer is having a conversation with Jesus, talking to Jesus about anything and everything that you want to. You are sharing your joy, your sorrow, asking Jesus for your help, talking to Jesus, thanking him for all the blessings that you have received, praising Jesus, is all prayer, children. Jesus is waiting to talk to you. With his arms open, right? We have learned this. Jesus is waiting to talk to you and be with you. Because Jesus loves you all. Because you all are the special friends of Jesus. Yes, children. Jesus loves you. Because you all are the special friends of Jesus. Okay? So in the very same way, like how praying individually, talking to Jesus is important, having a family prayer is equally important. Okay? Having a family prayer 
is very very important so when i say family prayer what do you think of what comes to your mind family prayer is a prayer when all the members of the family join in together sit together and pray together yes is that family prayer yes children family prayer is when all the members of the family join in together sit together and pray to jesus okay so what is a family who all are there in your family your father your mother your grandparents if they stay along with you your siblings if you have a brother or a sister or all those who stay along with you together are your family members right so when all of you join in together for a prayer it is called as a family prayer so let me ask you something do you all pray like this in your homes do you all get together as a family unite as a family and pray it can be any time of the day yes i'm pretty sure you all do so it is very important children to get all the family members together sit together and pray to jesus praise him thank him for all the blessings that you have received as a family okay because a family that prays together will be blessed abundantly yes a family that prays together will be blessed abundantly and a very famous saying goes like this a family that prays together will always stay together i will repeat it once again a family that prays together will always stay together what does this mean this means that when a family sits together and prays to jesus the bonds between them will be strengthened they unite in love and prayer okay so the family that prays together always stays together because the love and happiness that flows into the family is abundant the family is blessed with all the joy happiness harmony love and peace making them very happy so children do you all like listening to stories yes you all like to do so right so let me tell you a story now long long time ago in a village there lived two little kids they were siblings matthew and his younger sister sarah so they lived in the village along with their grandparents and their parents They were a very happy family. Even though Matthew and Sarah were little naughty and playful, they were good children. You know Matthew and Sarah were very close to their grandmother. So their grandmother taught them a lot of good things. She told them 
how important it is to listen and obey to your elders, to be good children, to be obedient children, love everyone, help everyone. And the most important teaching their grandmother taught them was the importance of family prayer. Okay? So their grandmother taught them how important it was to pray every day along with the family. So what is family prayer? Family prayer is when all the members of the family join in together in prayer to praise Jesus and thank him for all the blessings that he has showered upon the family. Okay? So in the very same way, you know Matthew and Sarah every day in the evening would call their parents and grandparents for the family prayer. They would take the initiative and call them. Even if their parents are busy, they would say, Come on mama, come on dada. Let us join in for the family prayer. So how do you pray during your family prayer, children? You hear to the word of God. You recite the prayers taught to you by your parents, your teachers. Correct? Yes, you also thank the Lord for all the blessings that you have received. You praise the Lord for how great His works are. What else? You pray for everybody. Do you remember the five finger rule we learned last time? Yes, so you use that prayer. And you pray every day? Yes, children. So in the very same way, Matthew and Sarah also did the same. Okay? So one day what happened? Matthew's and Sarah's father got a call from the office asking him to move to the city. And when Matthew's father had to move to the city, they had to leave their grandparents in the village itself. They were very sad. But Matthew and Sarah had to go along with their parents to the city. So once they reached the city, the life was completely different. Matthew and Sarah had a television in their house. They had access to so many cartoons, games. They loved it all. But the most important thing they never ever forgot in their lives was the teachings of their grandmother. The importance of family prayer. Even if they had a very, very nice cartoon to watch, they would still say, this is our prayer time. So no cartoon today. We will watch it some other time. So they would call their parents and sit along with them and have recite the family prayer. Okay? And they also knew the importance of it. And Jesus blessed them abundantly, no doubt about that. They received abundant blessings. Okay, children. So family prayer is very, very important because only a family that prays together will stay together and be blessed abundantly by the Lord with lots of joy, 
happiness, harmony. Okay? Yes, very good. So from now on, will you also become little Matthew and Sarah? Will you take the initiative and say, come on everybody, let us all join together and have the family prayer now. Will you do it? You all should do it. Okay, children? Yes, I'm pretty sure you all will also do it. Very good. Children, now let us learn a prayer. Okay? So stand up. Join your hands. Close your eyes. And repeat after me. Jesus, who taught us to pray, Hear my prayer. Jesus, who taught us to pray, hear my prayer. Amen. Very good, children. Now, children, let us end the class with a Recap. Okay? So tell me something. A family, when they join together and unite as one in prayer, what is that prayer called? The prayer is called a family prayer. Very good. And always remember this, children. A family that prays together will be blessed abundantly and will always stay together. Okay? Yes. Very good. So from now on, you all will become little Matthew and Sarah and take the initiative for your family prayer. Okay? Very good. So see you in the next class, children. Until then, thank you and God bless you.